Uh, we'll come to the room first and then come online at the end uh, for the guys back in the street. <coughs> Alright, camera's happy. Thanks, all. Ah, uh, yeah, like we got shaded in, in all areas. Um, we had enough ball down near the um, well, down near defensive end, and I give credit to their defence. Um, um, yeah, look, we gave away too many penalties. We got a couple of yellow cards. Why the first one didn't necessarily hurt us um, would have taken a fair bit of juice out of us. And, uh, and even the second one, when you haven't got a hooker, you've got to find innovative ways of winning the ball and sort of can't attack on the structures that we want to. So, um, yeah, also ultimately they hurt, but, you know, the, I'd say the All Blacks shaded us everywhere tonight and, and um, yeah, that's, that's the result. Uh, to have the kind of character to, to come back the way you guys did in, in Melbourne, um, can you put your finger on why the disparity you know, is so large? You know, a week later? Oh, we lost collisions. Um, you know, we uh, we fell off way too many tackles, 29 tonight, I think. Um, yeah, we turned over ball. And so, um, yeah, I think the All Blacks were better tonight. So... Any positives? I'll, um, I'll tell you in about two or three days when I've looked through the footage. You know, and there's always, there's always some positives and there'll be some good... Uh, individual performances in there, but as a group, um, you know, it's not good enough. Um, yeah, look, it's probably sums us up a bit. You know, I've, I've talked about it, and we're aware we, we need to be at our absolute best every week to to win. And, and if you're not against a good side like New Zealand, you get you get hurt. So, um, yeah, and we weren't good enough tonight. Um, James, I thought Rens wrapped it up pretty well. Um, yeah, I think the the disappointing thing is we didn't back up last last week's you know gutsy performance, and um, you know you can look at all areas of the game. Probably came second, but one that hurt us the most was just that the collision area, the contact area. Um, <clears throat> they're a good team and they put us to bed. James, you've heard it's a trait that the Wallabies over a few years that you have, you have one good test against uh, your guys, but then you fall off on the other one, particularly with the second one at Eden Park? Yeah, no, there's a lot made of Eden Park in there. Um, I keep saying it's the same, same size as the one we played in last week, but... Clearly, there's something in the grass or something, but um, yeah, oh look, it's uh, their spiritual home, and they tend to grow a leak here. But you know, we need to start it well. We need to start well, and you know, we gave away a penalty in the yellow card early, and it put us under the pump. And so, um, yeah, oh look, we're talking about. I thought our preparation was excellent this week. Um, you know, we needed to be able to put the All Blacks under pressure early and. I'd imagine no All Black wants to be part of the first team to lose at Eden Park and um, you know, try and squeeze them and stress them, but uh, you know, we weren't able to. Dave, what did you make of the Sam Whitelock try? Yeah, I looked dodgy to me, but um, um, you know, ref called a try on the field. They couldn't see anything to overrule it, so I'm not convinced it was a defining moment. Anything else in the room, guys? Looking ahead, though, um, you've got um, some really tough spring tour fixtures coming up. What's the team looking to do to improve performances? I mean, France and Paris and Ireland and Dublin, um, both teams have beaten the All Blacks over the last 18 months. Um, is it quite a big bar to jump over and find those two teams? Exciting, eh? I mean, that's why we're doing it. We've, um, we're only down to have three games on this tour. We've, we've added in Scotland at the start and Wales at the end, so... It's a tough tour, but you know, as we've talked about, you know, we need to play a lot of footy. We've got a lot of young men who, uh, you know, the more we play, the better. Uh, heading into a World Cup year, and um, you know, we're going to go over there without any of our um, Japanese boys. So again, more opportunity for others. Look like Lalakai Fakiti may miss the tour as well. Um, 
but it's going to help us create depth in various positions. So, um, yeah, oh, look, you know, we're incredibly disappointed tonight because you know, we're better than that. But as I said, we, you know, we've got a we've got a front at our best, and uh, we're going to play some really good sides over in Europe, and it's going to be good for us. Um, yeah, well, we'll judge it on how we go over there, I guess. But, um, you know, look, this is what we've got to do. We've, we've got to play the best and and uh, perform regularly. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that'll be the focus going into Europe. How, how do you reflect on the rugby championship for the whole month? Oh, it's, it's a mixed bag on it. You know, we had a couple of good performances in there, or two, maybe three good performances and three under par. So, mm. yeah. When do we get back? Um, oh, look, most of the guys who got out injured are, are long term. Uh, they won't be returning until next year. So, mm. Karevi and Cooper, um, Parisi, um, Lip, Robliada, uh, Fakiri now. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, and probably a couple others. Banks. Hi, oh, Tom Banks. Well, Tom Banks hopefully uh, might be back in time. But. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's um, yeah, he's a he's a wait and see. We've been in constant communication with Hoops, and um, you know, we'll we'll let everyone know what the plan is over the next couple of weeks. No. Um, like I said, we've got to be at our best uh, to be competitive with sides like the All Blacks, and you saw that last week. Um, yeah, you know, so that, that's that's the goal. We've got, we've got to get that into us week in, week out. And you go into a World Cup, you have a great performance one week, you pull one the next, and you're out. So um, it's the shifts we need to make. Anything else in the room, guys? We? Uh, we can jump online if there's oh. any questions online. Dave, oh. just. Uh, Oh, sorry, Jeff. Just some housekeeping, Dave, to begin with. Um, you d I think you may mention that none of our boys are coming on the spring tour, Japanese boys. Um, but is Bernard Foley and Tom Banks separate to those two, and is it just likely Marika that won't be going? Um, yeah, no, good question. Uh, yeah, Bernard's chance. Uh, Tom is technically still contracted here until the end of the year, so um, if he's fit, he'll be available. Uh, yeah, you're yeah, right, yeah, Marika will head back. Uh, obviously, Rory has already gone back, and um, Samu and, and Quaid are both that injured. Um, James, uh, I want to ask you about the scrums. Last week, you seemed to have the better of the scrums, and tonight uh, looked like there was a bit of a turnaround. Uh, were you disappointed how how the scrums went? Yeah, I think... As we've spoken about most, well, I reckon all areas we struggled with, um, you know, it really didn't help losing a second row in the first couple of minutes and then having a, quite a few scrums on our try line. So it, 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 we had to make a few shuffles there. and um, Yeah, it was a disappointing performance. You know, we'll put our hands up and we've got to be better, especially going on to a spring tour. Oh, I think the scrum, as Slips mentioned, was... When we were one down, we got dominated. When we got back to eight on eight, I think the, we had parity and the scrums were pretty even. Um, you know, maybe when slips went off and Bally come on his first test for a little while, uh, we got penalised two or three times. And, and James, in 2014, the Wallabies, Wallabies were in a bit of a rot then and they clearly go on to make a World Cup final in 2015. Roughly, you know, a year out, same sort of circumstances, obviously the same coach going forward, but... What hope is there for this Wallaby side in terms of going into a, a year out from a World Cup? Oh, there's plenty of hope. The, the, the confidence is in the group, definitely, and, and the staff members. Um, I, I, I guess the beauty of the last three years is we've been able to, to blood a, quite a fair few Wallabies, um, and they'll just continue to grow. But um, I think our biggest, our biggest uh, aspect we need to improve on is the consistency. We managed to put in a good performance and then back it up with a poor one. Um, we do that regularly, um, and that's probably something we need to really work on because 
can't do that at a World Cup. And but the bottom line is we're confident. We just got to build some momentum and and keep getting better. And Dave, uh, um, clearly you were, as you said, beaten in all areas tonight. But um, how frustrating when you get an incident like the Jed Holiday Holloway one in the the first minute that looks a hell of a lot like the Torrell Lomax one a week earlier. Um, just the front of frustrations around consistency. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, I just reckon it's such a tough game to referee at the moment. Um, you know, we've got uh, the game takes forever to play because uh, you have a TMO chipping in as well, and um, yeah, oh, it's, it's it's messy in it. It's not a great product. Um, yeah, so but look, you, you just got to take it on the chin. We, um, you know, we weren't good enough tonight, and we're not looking to blame the officials. Last couple online, please, guys. Dave, um, injury-wise, you mentioned Lalakai was out for the rest of the year. Do, could you kind of um, explain what, what happened to him tonight and how long you think uh, overall? Um, no, I'll, I'll leave it for someone who's got a medical degree to explain it probably, but it's a shoulder injury and uh, could require an operation. OK, um, and obviously you've had a lot of injuries this season. There's been some talk around, you, you know, the... Preparation and strength and conditioning. Do, do you think you're getting the best results out of that department at the moment, or do you think there perhaps is an issue to be looked at there? Oh, I think we've got some of the best in the world. So uh, collision sport, and if you look at the injuries we had tonight, uh, that's, that's the issue in it. Um, Lalakai was uh, carrying the ball. Um, uh, Jed did a hip pointer tonight where he it was a collision. Um, uh, Bernard Foley got knocked out, um, so um, you know it's, it's not like we're having a heap of soft tissue injuries. Um, you know, a number of them um, a collision, people landing on someone are doing an ACL or a patella tendon or a whatever. So uh, I got no, I got uh, total confidence in the quality of our S and C and our medical staff. And just one more from me, um, around mistakes and discipline, which has been a recurrent theme all, all year, really, um, how much is that down to something you can fix and how much is it down to just, say, the All Blacks being so good and putting you under so much pressure tonight? Like, what, what's the balance there? Uh, selection, maybe, eh? Selection, as in the players you're going to select? or? Yeah, well, I mean, if we've got individuals giving away lots of penalties, maybe, maybe it's a selection issue. Um, no, but you're right, we, we lost collisions, so you're, you're constantly going backwards. If you've got passive tackles, you give away penalties. Um, at times we'll end up in front of a last man's feet um, because it's a passive tackle. So obviously there's lots of things. We're just, it's a massive focus for us. We, we put a lot of time into it this week and um, still got to be better. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your time. All right, thanks, Thank guys. You.